hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will be doing a distress lock on my sisters here and i will be using uh this um which is a bobby boss uh 3x um distress butterfly lock in 1b so she wants them to be individual so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna i saw this technique on miss naturally mary's channel uh so um someone was doing her hair so i'm just gonna braid the hair then i'm gonna add the lock not to the root, to the actual plait, and then I'm gonna just start wrapping the um the spring twist here around the root until a certain point. So let's go ahead and start the video. So I will be using a uh, jam to to put on the hair to make her part more defined and also to keep the hair as well. Okay guys, so now we're on to adding the lock to the hair and wrapping it. So first I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to not put, not insert the needle through the root of the hair, but you're going to insert it through the plait, like to a certain point close to the root, but not the root actually. So there won't be any tension on the scalp. And then I'm going to close, put the hair on, close the latch, pull it through the hair. And I also remember to loosen, you want to loosen the loop on the lock because I didn't do that and it raveled, unraveled the first one I was doing. I had to actually wrap it and fix it. Okay, so once I get this on, I'm going to take the hair, the ends of the hair, I'm going to pull it through here and see the loop is wide enough so it comes through easily. And then I'm going to, so now it's attached to the hair. See, it's attached to the braid itself not to the root right so i'm going to take the lock and the braid put that together and then i'm going to get my spring twist here and i'm going to crochet the spring twist here to the root and then start wrapping from the root okay so now we're going to add the hair push the needle through add it to the push you need to close it pull the hair through and the good thing about this technique as opposed to um the good thing about this technique is there's no pressure on the scalp and then again um you're not wrapping the entire lock you're just doing um to the point where you cover the hair the hair right the braids here that's her hair so i'm just gonna wrap until i cover that part so i'm gonna start wrapping the root you can wrap it as tight or loose as you want you just want to make sure the the wrapping itself is secure, but it doesn't have to be tight on the root if you want to have less tension for if that you're doing someone's hair and they're tender headed. So I'm just gonna wrap the root the root a few times to make sure it's secure around the root, and then I'm gonna start going down on the lock. Okay, and then I start going down on the lock I'm gonna just grab this other piece I have here because it does I'm not going down out too much on the lock because the her hair back here is short so I'm just gonna put this with this one and continue wrapping and I'm gonna just do you don't have to do the knots you could just wrap but I'm doing the arm knots as well but it's not necessary you could just wrap it if you don't know how to do the knot just to wrap to cover the hair Okay, so I'm just going to, and now our hair is fully covered. So what I'm going to do is take this piece around, and I'm just going to tie this here to the lock. Just make a knot. So take the two pieces, knot that together. Just make a knot on the hair like this. Just open it. 
lock it and knock it and then I'm gonna just wrap back up the hair again. So that's it. We have our three from here back here. So I'm going to do the same, continue the same process all the way to, throughout the hair. Okay, guys. So now I'm just going through and I'm just adding the hair, the lock to the hair. Um, and I'm doing a few that way um, to make the process faster. Then I'll just go back and wrap it. So you can either do um, the full loop and add it to the braid or you could just do part of the loop and add it either one. I'm doing the full loop. The video that I watched, the tutorial that I did, she did part of the loop, but I'm doing the full loop. But it's up to you how you want to do it. So this is a full loop, so I'm just going to put it through here and then pull that through. I'm going to move on to the next one. Open up the loop. And I'll show you um, if you want to do just part of the loop. So I'm just going to take part of the hair here. So I split the loop in two, as you can see. So I'm just going to take this little part here. And I'm going to go through the braid. Add the part of the loop here, close it, pull it through. And I open my loop wide enough so I'm not struggling to get the hair through it. That's key. And then I'm just gonna pull the loop through the pull the hair through the loop. And if you don't, you're gonna have issues as far as the hair breaking apart like the first one I did. So you wanna make sure that you open the loop wide enough. Take your time and just pull it through until the hair is attached to the braid so I'm gonna finish these two and then start wrapping okay guys so now I'm wrapping the hair and what I'm doing is I take one of the of the braid sorry take one of the braid and split it in two but sometimes if it's too thin you may have to cut this in like half and then add it to the ends to make sure that it's, the hair is covered enough so I try to make it thick enough. If not, then I just take um, a short uh, piece and just wrap it.
for this one, we're going to bend her plait. For someone with longer hair that does not want to wrap too much, I'm going to bend it so you can see um, another way you could do it. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far and I'm, I only have two left here. So I'm just going to show you how I've been doing adding or spring twist here for less, way less tension on the scalp. And I think the tutorial I mentioned showed me that, but I forgot. So when I'm adding the spring twist um, for the ones I'm doing to the front, uh, for the last few I did, I don't go in the, um, for, to the root of the hair like I showed you before. I go like on the top part of the braid. So I start, see right here, where you have the beginning of the plait, not the root, to the root. I'm going to put the needle in here, in the plait, the beginning of the plait, the braid. Okay, so I'm going to get the needle in here, the beginning of the braid, and I'm going to put the hair on, close my latch, pull that through, and I'm going to start wrapping the hair. So when you put it from the beginning of the braid compared to directly to the root, um, it's less tension and, and when you finish wrapping, it's not going to be as tight as when you do it uh, from the root. And I forgot to do that part. So as I was going along and it was, um, when it was coming together, it got tighter than I realized. So I started doing it that way. So then I'll take one piece of this and I'm going to start wrapping around. And I wrap around two, about two to three times. And then I'm going to add this piece and continue my wrapping to make it thicker at the root. So I'm going to wrap a few times, make it thicker, make it stable. And then I'm going to start wrapping down the hair. Okay. The same technique that I used to wrap before. Only thing that I, the way I added it, I took it away from the root. So there's less tension to the root. Okay. So I'm going to wrap above my knot to make sure it's secure and then I'm gonna go below the knot and continue wrapping Okay guys, so now we're on to our next one. I'm going to show you as I was doing before that when I'm adding the hair, I'm not going to add it to the root of the hair, but to the braid itself. So I'm going to stick my crochet needle through the top part, the close to the root of our braid. So you see it's not in the root, but on the plait itself. So I'm going to stick my needle through here. I'm going to add the, and for this one, remember I was showing you guys, I was adding the, doing the full loops. So I've been doing half of the loop to make it less tension on her hair. So I'm doing half of the loop. I'm going to add it to the needle, close the latch, pull it through. And then we're going to make sure the loop is big enough. So once you start pulling the hair through, we're not going to, um, 
this joint a lot. So I'm going to pull that through. Okay, so now it's attached to the braid. So now I'm going to start wrapping and I'm going to add the hair right above where I added the, the braid. Not on the root, but in the plait, the top of the plait. Okay guys, so now I'm going to add the spring twist here to the braid so we can wrap the hair. And see I added it through the top of the plait, well the, the base of the plait, the, close to the root of the plait but not the base itself. Okay, so now I'm going to add the spring twist here on, pull that through, so we can start our wrapping. finished look and I went ahead and added some um, of my oil sheen from Isoplus and I also added I've used this before um, my Garnier Fruities um, shining gloss spray to add a little bit of sheen to the hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like share and subscribe